What's going on, y'all? Susie Lari Hernandez here. Uh, I got a live chat going. I figured I'd just share with you guys uh, some of the books that I got in my library. I got a huge stack of books, and I got a, just a bunch of like um, papers that are print offs and stuff like that. So, um, and I'd like to share with you the ones that I guess I'll just share. I'll just start sharing. All right. So, uh, so the first one I, that I wanted to show y'all is this one here. It's Augustine Barrios Mangure. Uh, it's the volume one. I think it's backwards, but I'll put a link to all these in the, in the description below. But um, and I'll tell you a little bit about every book. So this book right here, uh, I like the notation in it. Um, it's it's really it's big. Like you can you can read it. It's not too bad. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is I broke the binding on it um, when I was trying to make a print out of it. So it's broken right here. It's not spiral bound. I like the spiral bound ones. Um, these pieces are. Ad, intermediate to advanced, y'all. There, there's some of them are not. <laughs> it, it Barrios, like he, his stuff is hard to play. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like his stuff is really difficult to play. Um, this is volume one and has it's got the cathedral in it. I mean, that's that's the big piece that everybody likes. Um, I think it has um a tremolo piece in it also. Uh, Capricho Espanol, a mi madre, uh, aire de zamba. Um, there's all, dude, there's all kinds of stuff in here, man. This is a pretty good one. A bunch of studies, a studio de concierto, uh, studio de concierto number two, a studio de legato. So it's basically everything from A through M, uh, every, all the titles that he has, like from A through M. So there's the index right there. So all in all, I, I kind of like this book. Um, I, I started, I played the cathedral a lot of it. This one right here, as, as you can see, the binding is, is already broken because I, I, you know, I used to play this piece out of Beskos. Uh, this is a pretty good piece. It's in drop D. So check this one out, you guys. If you get a chance, I really like this one. Um, Barrios, his music is just really well written. His studio, he has a bunch of studies. His studio, they have arpeggio. You can't go wrong with Barrios. He's got some good stuff, y'all. Uh, so let me move on to the next one. Uh, and I'm just kind of pulling these at random because I have a ton of books, y'all. So um, obviously, <laughs> Julio Sagredas. This is uh, books four through six. I don't really like this one because it's not spiral bound, but I mean, it's got, man, it's got tons of content in there, guys. And this, see where I had, I had even put some clips of uh, where I was going to try to record. Like that's a, that's a tremolo piece, study number three. And I think it's um, Las Quintas book five. Um, so you can't go wrong with it. And this one is actually in Spanish and English. Uh, the translation, I think there's a forward by a forward by Francisco Tarega. Um, actually the forward is, the forward is by, um, uh, Guitar Heritage. It's Las, Cua Las Cuatras, Las, Las Cuartas Lecciones de Guitarra. So the fourth lessons for guitar, that's obviously the fourth book. And then you have the fifth and then the sixth. So I got that one there. I had planned to go through all of them, but it's life kind of took over and I had a bunch of bills and stuff. So it's I'm trying to get through number two, so it's kind of hard to get playing, guys. So let's go to this next one. Oh, this one here, Juan uh, Juan Duarte. Um, it is by – oh, actually, these last two books that I showed you are by Mel Bay. I'll leave a link in the description. This one is uh, Juan W. Duarte. It's the homage uh, to Antonio Lauro, and it's three waltzes. This is actually a pretty good piece, and I was learning this piece uh, as a uh, – as a, for a recital for a college entrant uh, – because I was trying to get into a college. I think it was UT da uh, University of Texas at Dallas, Texas. And this was one of the required readings. Um, it's kind of cool because it, it's it's not even, it, it's it's smaller. I mean, it's big enough to read. And the cool thing about this piece is that the first piece is in, in regular standard tuning. And then the second one is in drop D. And then the, and then the last movement goes back to E. So that's kind of interesting. I had never seen that before. Um, but a lot, a lot of, a lot of Antonio Lado, his music is in here, and it's it's relatively easy to read. I mean, there's not a lot of 16 notes in, in this this type of music. I mean, there's a lot of eighth notes. We got these off rhythms and stuff like that. But I mean, it, I'd say it's like a, about an intermediate piece. It's not it's not too difficult for an intermediate player. So that's one right there, and I think it's by Universal Edition. I'll try to leave a link in the description. I don't know if Universal Edition has their their books in on Amazon. Uh, here's another really good one. I played this for one of my recitals. This is Leo Brower, Un Dia de Novembre. Dude, his 
Leo Brower's music is, is awesome. This is a two page piece. It's not even that long. Uh, this could be for uh, an advanced beginner to an intermediate player. Um, you know, just two pages. It's in A minor. There's not a, there's not that many sharps or flats in it. So, and a lot of it repeats itself. It has an A section and I think a B section and then an A section. So A B A section. Um, so check out this piece by uh, Leo Brower. Very very good covering. Um, the pieces is, is the piece is kind of small to read. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's kind of small. That's the only thing I really don't like about this one. I mean, it looks kind of big on here, but when I put it on, I don't know. I guess when I put it on this on a stand, the, the notes are kind of small for me. So just depends on your your um, your preference. This one, this piece actually by uh, Chester Music. There's not a lot of fingerings in it. In it, um, there's not. It doesn't have really any right hand or left hand fingerings in it. I guess the composer just kind of leaves it up to you. Um, so you can write the fingerings in there. So there's no no fingerings. There's some string names, but uh, so if you lean heavily on on figure numbers, you might want to look at a different edition. But if you can handle it and you can just go through it and write in your own fingerings, this would work for you. So Leo Brower and Dia Un Dia de November for guitar by Chester Music. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh man, dude, can't go wrong with this one. This is a classic. This like everybody. Sh this should be in like every guitarist library. The solo guitar playing book one by Frederick Node. Um, I there's not enough good things to say about this this thing. I mean, I started reading this in high school, even without a teacher. Like, okay, so a lot of the lines there you have two line p two lines, and the top is for the student and the bottom is for the teacher. Well, I didn't have the teacher at the time, so I would just read the the top notes, you know, all the way through till you know till almost the end of the book, you know. And then, like, uh, it's very beginning. It starts off very beginner, you know what I mean? And and uh, one of the things that helped me when I started learning to read music, because uh, I wanted to start, you know, I wanted to start reading to read these tough pieces because I liked the way they sounded and I didn't want to be playing these small beginner pieces. So I took, I had a copy of this taken, and it's the fretboard with each and every single note that's on the fretboard. And I had a copy of this, and I would put it next to the sheet music that I was learning. Like, for instance, I was learning Etude Number 1 by Via Lobos. And this thing was right next to the piece. So it was very tedious process because I had to look at one note and then go and find it on the guitar. And man, it took forever. So I, after years of doing this, I was able to, to, to drop this because I memorized a lot where the notes were. So this this little piece just helped out. You know what I mean? But this book is so awesome. Well written by Frederick Node. Uh, there's a picture of the man himself right there. He shows you the basic te technique all from posture you know what I mean? To tuning. This book is so awesome about the rest stroke and the free stroke. Um, a, a lot of people that I recommend this to, like, they don't like it because they want to learn, like, electric guitar. They want to start jamming out and all this stuff. But if you really want to learn classical, if you want your, you know, your student to learn classical, lean heavily on this book. It's really well, really well written. It's got quizzes at the end of each chapter. Um, you know, to quiz your knowledge about like right here, preparation for the next lesson. It's got a bunch of quizzes and stuff. Uh, very useful information in here, you guys. All different kinds of techniques. You have small repertoire pieces within it. Uh, like this one right here is Allegro and Frederick No wrote it. And the cool thing about what Frederick No does is he incorporates pieces by notable composers like um, Fernando Sor or Bach or Giuliani or Kakasi and stuff like that. You look at this, you got studying legatos, uh, descending and ascending. You got arpeggios. This book is is like you should have this book for beginners. I mean, I don't have enough thing, good things to say about it. Some editions had this edition. It, I think it can't, it didn't come with the CD. Uh, there's some editions that have a CD that play the, uh, the, inter, the, the pieces that are in there, like by Sor and all that stuff. I recommend this book high, very, very highly. As you can see, it's kind of worn out. The binding hasn't broken, and I've had it, and it's been thrown, you know, it's been mistreated, sadly, but, you know, the binding is still intact after, you know, several years. I think I've had this for five to ten years or at least. This is like, I think this is my second copy because my original copy, I was using it in high school. The original copy I was using in high school, I, was, I would check it out from the library, and I would use it from there, and then finally I had some money to, to buy one, and I got one. 
Uh, so my first edition, I had given it away or something. And this is the second one that I had gotten from my students when I was teaching guitar. So excellent book, you guys. If you get a chance, if you're a beginner and you really want to learn classical guitar, this has a lot of useful information in it. So check it out. It's uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, Solo Guitar Playing, book one by Frederick Node. Okay, on, let me see. I got five books so far. One, two, three, four, five, six books so far. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so this is the sixth book right here. This one is um, the Complete Carcassi Guitar Method. I like it because it's spiral bound. Um, the the, the, um, the preludes that I had uh, recorded, like the five preludes by Car Carcassi, and I put two extra ones at the end. They came from this book. As you can see, I marked them because I was going to play all the preludes in here. Um, this, I, The thing I don't like about this book is that the, the guy that published it, he took the original work by Kakasi and he took pieces out and he rearranged it into this book. I, I didn't like that. He, the fact that he did that. And he kind of, he, and he, he did kind of an, he did kind of an all right job because what he did was, is he started in key signatures and he would take pieces out of the original portion. I think it's, um, I think it's uh, Opus 59. Opus 59 was was uh, the Carcass, original Carcassi method. So what this guy do, did, the guy that published this book, he took it out in pieces and he did it in, in order from key signatures. So, you know, and it talks about the elementaries of music, the elemental principles of music, which is cool. He talks about key signatures and he just basically kind of rearranged Carcassi's method, which I don't like. I, I, I kind of wanted to see the original. I never got to see the original. You got Francisco Tarega. Uh, in there, I think he's taught. I think he does the pre. No, he just talked about Francisco Tarega. He does the basic exercises, and that's originally in the Carcassi method. You know, the basic exercises, the sharps and flats, and stuff like that. And then you get to this portion right here: scales, cadences, exercises, pieces, uh, and stuff like that. And this is where he rearranges it to do keys. Like this is the key of C, and everything from here is in the key of C. You know, all the way through. You have arpeggios. Uh, Allegrato, you got a fast piece in there. Um, you have a waltz, you have an arpeggio exercise, and then he goes to the key of G, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying so he does no, he does naturals and then he goes into one sharp and then two sharp and then three sharps and then four sharps, and then eventually he does flats, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of cool in, in that rearrangement, but I kind of like, I, I would like to the original Carcassi method. Like, but like I said, I did use this book when I recorded the five preludes of our Carcassi, um, and, and I used the preludes from in here. So uh, you got the Caprice in D minor. See, the Caprice in D minor, it wasn't originally in the area that it is in this book. Uh, so, but other than that, it's a really good book. I mean, the, the, the notes are a good size. They're a good shape. Um, they're not too small. They're legible. You have a lot of fingerings inside there. That's good. So if you're learning how to, how to read at fingerings, uh, the, the M and the I and the A and the left-handed fingerings, like two and zero and all that stuff, this is really helpful. And they're good fingerings too. They're, they're not like, somebody who doesn't play guitar just kind of wrote numbers in there no the person that did this like you can tell they actually play guitar because the fingerings are good uh in there um at the very end at the very end um he adds opus 60 which is pretty cool because opus 60 is is a good opus um and it kind of opus 59 kind of prepares you for all the techniques that are in there because some of the pieces are very intermediate uh 25 etudes and that's that's opus 60 by Carcassi. You got the famous number two, uh, number two etude. Um, you got several good ones in here. Number three is in there. Here's the Allegro, the one that everybody knows in A minor by Carcassi. I mean, if you look it up, it's very, 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 uh, what you call it? Very, very well known. Another good thing is this is in English and Spanish. So if you if you read in Spanish or if you read in English, either way, it's pretty good. So it's a good book. So there's a few downsides, but all in all, it's, it's a pretty good book. I like it. Oh, the man, Bach. You can't go wrong with this dude. But let me tell you, this stuff is hard, okay? If you're a beginner and you try to tackle this stuff, my prayers to you because this thing, Bach, is not easy, y'all. It's hard. The, the good thing I like about Bach is that if you're barely, if you're barely learning to read, um, if you're barely learning to read, a lot of his stuff is not on the high on the high end of the guitar. It's not in high pitches, so it stays in in the realm of, of you know within here. It doesn't go above the line a lot. It doesn't. I mean, well, the lower the lower notes are going to be down there, so those are expected. You got to kind of memorize those. But 
you know, I had a piece of paper in here, suite number uh, 997. That's my favorite suite. It's it's originally in C, in C minor, This uh, and this was rearranged to A minor. The fingerings in here are, are swell. You know, the, the guy that did this, you could tell he played guitar because the fingerings are excellent. Um, there's And what he does, too, like here, he shows the original work on top. And, and, you know, he shows different alterations of how to play this bar. So that's pretty cool what he added in there. Uh, this is a very good, very, very good book. It's um, Johann Sebastian Bach's Solo Lute Works by Frank Kuntz. So if you're looking for a good Bach, if you're looking for a good Bach book, this is a good one here by Frank Kuntz. Uh, the cool thing about what he does in the beginning is he he explains a lot of the embellishments and ornamentation within the Bach piece. So this is an excellent book, y'all. If you're really looking into, into getting uh, all the Bach loot, loot suites, the Frank Kuntz edition is awesome. It's spiral bound, y'all. I mean, it doesn't tear. In the back, it has what the original score looks like. You know, for the original box score, and I think it has every piece. Yeah, it has every piece in there. Um, the original manuscript, what it looks like. Um, it's, it's, it's very awesome. Um, some pages, like, don't fit. So what he did was, it, it, it this comes out like that, to, so you can be able to read the whole piece and then, you know, turn it like that. Because these pieces are long, y'all, and they're hard. They're very, very difficult. Um so this is a, this is a pretty good book. I wish I could. Yeah, I wish I had the time. Take the time to to do to read it. And I actually do. I actually do sight read um, nine nine seven. Um, that's the cool thing about um, when I sight read. I, I sight re I sight read easily with no sharps and no flats. I think anybody does, you know. But Bach has a lot of that stuff, you know. Nine nine seven has that. You have one sharp right here. I think that's um, nine nine six. So, you know, it's got some history about the lute. That that was the actual instrument that this music was played on. You know, it's got some history stuff in there. You got some editorial, different types of symbols and stuff. This is a good book, y'all. Second edition, Frank Kuntz, John Sebastian Bach, the solo works for guitar. How's it going, y'all? Thanks for saying hi. I appreciate that. Let me see. Oh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. I'm going to do uh, ten, I think, all together. Oh, Here's a good one right here, guys. If y'all are beginners, um, this is uh, six preludes, six short preludes by Manuel Ponce. Um, it's by Pure Music. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description, so check it out, y'all. Very legible. Um, you can see the piece. The, the, the notes aren't too small. You have a lot of dynamic markings. You have a lot of fingers on there, so the 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 pub publisher doesn't leave you alone to like try to figure out the fingerings. So that's pretty good. Um, they're very short pieces, like number two. It's it's just four lines, and and the good thing about this is because it it it's like for beginners because it's got a ton of stuff. You got rhythms in there. They got to, You got to learn how to do. But once you get them, you get to hang them. You get them down. It's got eighth notes. It has a few sixteen notes, but there's really no straight sixteen notes. Um, a lot of it is open strings, and and this is very. It's it's not very. Um, tonal uh so it's just a lot of really you, you could only you could tell that a guitarist wrote this you know what i mean and and it, it's pretty good for for beginners if you're well kind of intermediate beginners so if you're trying to learn that check that out y'all and let's see i think i'll do the last one and you guys probably know which one it is or i hold on hold on, i got two more so the other one uh let me see what else that i got here i got a whole bunch here i mean look <laughs> i got a whole bunch of books let me see. So, oh, here's another good one. Here's one that I use a lot. Um, and I started like the first seven studies. This is another one by Frederick Node. 100 graded classical guitar studies. He takes from Carcassi, Giuliani, and Soar, the main classical composers. I mean, because the classical composers, they had most of their music was printed at the time. Um, so a lot of it is, is, is in here. Um, these... I know it says graded classical guitar studies, but to start out, it's not really it's not really that easy. You know what I mean? It's kind of intermediate. Like this here, you got three flats. You know what I mean? It looks easy, but if you don't understand how to read flats or nothing like that, it might be kind of hard. Giuliani, you know, study number one, number two, and then it tells you where that the where they come from. This is a really good book. I like it because the notes are big; they're not too small. Um, you have an explanation. Frederick Node explains what he wants you to learn in this particular piece, you know, in each particular piece. And they get relatively harder as you go through, y'all. Uh, I mean, look at this right here. 
that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of tough and there's three sharps on that one and then eventually you get to like hard stuff like this really tough stuff and sore his stuff is his stuff is difficult fernando sore like his his stuff is difficult it's really good musically like you know tonally and stuff like that so check that out uh this is a very good book i like it the only thing i don't like about it is not spiral bound so i mean if you're not careful you can break the binding um very good book frederick node and the last one y'all uh, you guys know which one I'm going to talk about. Here it is. Julio E. Sagreras. This is the book that I have been reading from in the videos. Uh, it's got less uh, books one, two, and three inside of them. Um, it's written in Spanish and English. I think that um, Francisco Tarega, no, Guitar Heritage, does the foreword for it. Um, Julio Sagreras, you know, it, it has his original, what he says about it. These are his original notes, y'all. So, like, for the like, this is the very first piece for the book one, and right here is what he actually wrote in Spanish. You know, this is what he act. That's these are his actual words. That's what I like about this. And then over here, you have the translation to English. So this is this is like straight from Sagreras' hand. That's why I like this. And look, there's a picture of him right there. You know, the guy, this guy, man, he's awesome. And he, he, there's even like the forward. Let me, let me read the, like the beginning part, what he actually wrote. Let me see. Um, right here for teachers. It says during 30 years of teaching the guitar, I have continually encountered difficulties in teaching newcomers with available guitar teaching material whose contents and principles are def deficient and too difficult for many pupils in this method. In these methods, the preparatory stu studies are not arranged in the proper order of difficulty, and the pupil extends too much effort in learning where to find notes on the guitar. For these reasons, I have now decided to publish this work, which I have had in preparation for some time. I have already put this book into practice with considerable success among my pupils, particularly absolutely, absolute beginners on the guitar. So he wrote this with, with guitar beginners in mind because the the music that was out there before, it wasn't really geared toward beginners. So this dude is freaking awesome, man. I, I love what he did. No, this one has book two and book three. And also at the very end, um, at the very end right here, what, what they put in here is they put translation for different languages. Um, you have, uh, that looks like French, um, you know, French, Italian. I think you have, I don't know, it looks like German, I guess. Yeah, so French ger and German translations from the original Spanish text, y'all. This is a good book. It's spiral bound. The notes are big enough, and obviously, as you've seen in the videos, it's got it's got all the all the the, the finger markings like P I M A, the left hand markings. Super awesome book. I can't re recommend this book. I can't. There's not enough good things that I could say about this book, y'all. So uh, get it. Check it out when you get a chance. If you're an absolute beginner. Um, Check it out, y'all. So that those were the 10 books. I'll leave a link in the description, y'all. Thanks for joining. Alex, I appreciate you, man. Uh, appreciate you checking out the uh, video, this live video, if you're still there. <laughs> um, also, so let me let me uh, talk about... So I have a Patreon account, y'all. If, you, if you're not aware, check out my Patreon account. Try to support my channel and my podcast. Um, I have a Discord channel. If you want to talk with me or chat with me, I'll be... I'm on there. I check it. Often you can ask Alex. Alex has been on there. I talked to him a little bit here and there. Um, so check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. I'm I'm not really that active on my Facebook. I just kind of put my uploads on there. Check out my website, y'all. So if you really want to talk to me, really get a hold of me, check out the Discord chat. Um, help me out with Patreon. Patreon. Um, I have several blogs, uh, blog posts um, on my my website and i'm gonna put uh, guitar posts on there and stuff like that too so coming soon y'all i know you guys are asking for the tabs for uh several of the pieces and um, i'm gonna have those out and i plan put because uh, i'm working on them on um on guitar pro i'm putting them all into tab and hopefully uh i'm gonna make it as a you know, a subscribe for free and you get these tabs or whatever type of thing. So that way I can kind of connect with you guys a little bit more on email and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. As of right now, for the guitar players, you guys, I'm putting out um, all the recorded versions of, of the Sagreras book one. 
that with originally with music notation, I'm putting them all out again, but with tab. So the first portion of the video has without tab, and then the second portion has with tab. And then at the end, you have the end screens to take you to the next song or the next number. And and at the end screen also, there's a, a playlist for, for the entire, all, all the sections of the playlist. So there it is, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out these books. Um, I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.